Hi ladies, it's Tammy from dreamcreateandshare.blogspot.com and this is my submission for the I Am Roses contest um, and their theme for the contest was In the Garden so um, I picked up this bird feeder at the dollar store it's wooden, it has some acetate panels on either side and um, I thought it would be cute to alter and turn into a holder for a mini album and this is what I have done with it. I've covered the outside of the house with paper from Once Upon a Springtime Graphics 45 designer paper. And distress my edges. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, on the front I've used my I Am Roses flowers and um, some die cuts from the paper line, some skeleton leaves, which are also I am roses, a leaf I am roses, a bead spray, and some seam binding to add some embellishment to the outside of the bird feeder. On the top roof of the bird feeder, I've added some more I am roses flowers, leaves, feathers, some prima bling, a grand adhesion butterfly, and I've used some more die cuts from the collection to add this little tag dangly thing. So then the cover simply lifts up and comes back. And inside I've made a mini. Let me get it out of here. The string makes it a little difficult to get it out. Plus the fact that it's a little thicker than I hoped. But um, that happens when you're adding embellishments to a project. So anyways, I'll put the bird feeder there so you can still see it. See, it looks even pretty without the mini in there, doesn't it? But anyway, so this is my mini. And this is, um, I made this mini using die cuts for, from my new AccuCut machine. Um, all the pages are envelopes. And um, I found it with my bind it all and added some charms. There's a butterfly and a, a sun. Um, I've added some seam binding ribbon. On the cover, my lighting down here is not very good. I have the I Am Roses assortment of flowers, a leaf, um, a die cut bird. It's a Sizzix die. Some skeleton leaves. Uh, in behind, it's hard to see, is the lattice die cut in black. And then there's a coin envelope pocket, which is also another one of my AccuCut dies. And inside I just have a tag that says, Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Now, are you going to go in easy for me? Uh, we'll wait and put it in at the end. But anyway, that's my cover page. Um, the little bird has a bling eye <laughs> and some feathers at the end of its wing. Alright, so the first page is this one and it has a coin envelope pocket that has this tag, journaling spot on the back and then it has this other tag, it's a Sizzix die and some I just trimmed it with some die cuts from the collection and it's just like a little pocket, so these actually come out in their little journal spots. And then a journal spot on the back. And that just tucks in here and turn that up coin envelope actually into a pocket. And the next page, I die cut some Sizzix Angel Wings, a photo mat, and then a butterfly. And the top of butterfly, I embossed it and added some bling for the body of the butterfly. And of course, I've distressed all my edges. Um, inside each of the pockets is just a photo mat in either white or baja, a green. Um, oops, I hate when the camera goes blurry. And just journal spots on the back. And so they're not anything fancy, but they give you a place to put photos and journaling. This next page. I've trimmed with some die cuts. I've used one die cut to make a pocket, and the other die cut is a photo journal spot. And I've just folded it in half and tucked it in, and then I've 
trim the page finally with an I Am Roses flower. I think it's a gardenia. They're beautiful. Ladies, if you have not checked out I Am Roses, you should go check them out. They have beautiful flowers at excellent prices. And uh, you're not going to be disappointed. I used a die cut to create a band so I could stick some tags in behind on this page. And this is just a die cut from the collection. Added some lines on the back. I'm using a uh, Sizzix die, which I've trimmed with some die cuts from the collection, some seam binding ribbon, and added some journal spots on the back. Not only lines on the back, sorry. Okay, and this page, uh, I just added a Tim Holtz flourish, attached the top and bottom, and then stuck a little file folder in there for a photo mat and closed it with a, I think, Making Memories. Actually, no, I think this is a dollar store paper clip. Um, and just tucked it under there. And this page, I've used the Tim Holtz birdcage die and made it into a pocket. I've only attached it on, like, this side. Uh, I've used a Tim Holtz photo class to attach, looks like it's attached to the binding a die cut bird with feathers for its wing and then a die cut ticket with some die cuts from the collection to decorate it up and journal lines on the back. This page, some more I Am Roses blossoms, uh, cherry blossom and a mini rose, um, I Am Roses leaf and a die cut photo mat. Uh oh, somebody must have fell or something. Uh, the last page has a coin envelope pocket with a die cut from the collection and general lines on the back, a die cut embellishment, and last of all, a mini baroque photo mat. And that's my project submission for the I Am Roses in the Garden uh, contest. It ends the end of the month, so you still have a little time to come up with your own creation. You have to do a video link with your project. And I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching. Bye.